little town that's your town. And like folks everywhere, the folks down our way like to do old-fashioned singing. In fact, there's an official singing group that supplies the music for church socials, ladies' aid meetings, and all kinds of gatherings. Eli Jenkins is the leader of this group. Between that and tending his grocery store, he stays mighty busy. He just locked up his store now and is hurrying upstairs to where Jenny has supper waiting. Yeah, I, I'm coming right now, Jenny. Just a second. It's about time. I don't know why it is. At whatever time a woman gets a meal on the table, it's always about ten minutes too soon for her husband. Now, Jenny. Never fails. There's always just one thing more he must do before he can bother to come and eat the meal that she's worked for an hour to fix. Now, shucks. Don't go getting all bothered. <laughs> Things look awful good. And they did ten minutes ago. But look at my cheese and bread casserole now. It was all puffed up when I took it out of the oven, but it's gone plumb flat. I, I like it flat. Otherwise, you have to chew the air out of it, and that just makes more work. Well, are you ready to sit down? Yeah, as soon as I wash up a bit. Oh, Dan, sake. Well, you want me to be clean, don't you? It won't take but a second. And after all the time I spent cooking this meal. Is that, is that our phone? Yes, of course. It always waits till mealtime to ring. Hello? Eli? Uh, for, for me, for me, Ma? Yes. Yes, I may as well give up. Once you get on that phone, you're worse than any woman. Oh, now I'll hurry it up. Uh, hello? Oh, yes, Cliff. Uh, what's on your mind? Well, can't he wait till tonight to talk to you? He'll be here for singing practice. No, no, no. That's all right, Cliff. I'm not doing a thing. Go right ahead. No, you're not doing a thing. Only holding up supper since 6 o'clock. And I went to extra special pains to cook you just what you like. I have to be polite, Ma. He's asking if he can bring a friend tonight. Uh, yeah, Cliff. Uh, what was that? Eli Jenkins, if you ain't sitting down at this table and eating in 30 seconds, I'm going to put the whole dinner in the garbage pail. Yeah, yeah I, I guess I, I guess I better say goodbye now, Cliff. I'll see you at 7. Okay. All right now, Ma. Just simmer down. I know you've been waiting dinner a long while, but you won't be near so put out when you know that I did remember that this is our anniversary. Oh, Eli, did you? <laughs> of course I did. And, and here you've been thinking all day I'd forgotten it, didn't you? Well, I <laughs> but, but I didn't. And, and I got a great big kiss to prove it. Eli, <laughs> darling. If you look over behind your sewing basket, you'll see a little package with your name on it. But you can't open it yet. You got to wait till the gang gets here. Oh, I want to no, now. No, no, sir. By golly, that, that's why I was late to dinner wrapping that package. I tied that bow 16 different times, and I want everybody to see it. Well, I don't think I can wait. Yeah, you won't have to wait long. They'll be here in a few minutes. Hey, come on, let's eat supper. What are we waiting for? <laughs> oh, you old darling. How can I get mad at you? Most of the singing group's gathered now, and Eli's little anniversary present to Jenny's the center of attention. <laughs> well, if that ain't the worst rapping job I ever seed, it'd better be good inside to make up for the way it looks outside. Now, now none of your cracks, <laughs> Ben Potts. There's nothing artistic about the way you tie up the sacks of feed over in your store. I think the package looks sweet. I just wish Cliff and his friend would get here so I could open it. Yeah, they're late already. Uh, who'd you say is uh, bringing patients? Uh, well, there's a young fella around Cliff's gas station for the last few days. Uh, uh, maybe it's him. Oh, I thought it was a girl he's bringing. Oh, relax, Marion. Cliff can't see no girl but you. Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, I guess they're here now. Oh, evening, Cliff. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Jenkins. This is Mickey Hunter. Uh, Hi. How, how are you? Come on in and meet the group. Thanks. <laughs> uh, this is my wife, Jenny, and Patience Peavoy and Marion Castle... And over there's Ben Potts. Howdy. Uh, everybody, this is Mickey Hunter. Good evening. How are you? Cliff suggested this is a way to pass the evening. I hope you don't mind my coming over. Why, not at all. We're mighty pleased. It's hard to find ways to entertain yourself in this little burg, isn't it? <laughs> no nightclubs, no movies or shows. Well, to tell the truth, it had never occurred to me to miss them. Oh, <laughs> I suppose it's all in what you're used to. Well, uh, <clears throat> what uh, what say we get to practicing, folks? Uh, what shall we sing first, Eli? Oh, let's do something fancy for our guests here. How about Drink to Me Only with Thine Eyes? Is that <laughs> the kind of songs you sing? Well, that's the best kind there is, young feller. All right, now. Let's, let's do it good, everybody. <laughs>
nice. Mm -hmm. You sure get a lot of music out of these folks, Eli. Yeah, all I do is wave my arm and it comes out. <laughs> I hate to disillusion you, Eli, but it would still come out even if you didn't wave your arm. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Mickey to come over with me this evening because he's always been interested in music. Yeah, but not this kind. I like stuff that's got some life to it, something with a real beat. Oh, I guess you mean dance music, don't you? That's it. Say, uh, I didn't catch your name. Miss Castle. Uh, no, I, I mean the first part. Mickey, why don't you come over here and sit down with me? These folks have got music to practice. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Anything you say. Where'd he come from? Yeah, uh, New York. I think Cliff said he's just stopping for a few days in Cliff's extra room. You ain't planning to settle down in this town then, Mr. Hunter? Me? Settle down here? <laughs> no, I got bigger plans. Uh, Jenny, uh, don't you want to open your package now? Oh, sure, Eli. A present? Yeah, it's her anniversary, Cliff, and I got Ma a little something. Uh, we've been married for 33 years. 33? <whistles> do people stay married that long? <laughs> Around here they do, son. Uh, how long your folks been married? Oh, my mom's been with her present husband almost two years now. Dad just got divorced again. <laughs> Says he's going to stay free this time. Oh, I hate to take this off, this pretty paper, Eli. <laughs> does, it, does it really look nice to you, Mama? Ain't that sweet? After all these years, they're still lovey-dovey. Oh, look at this. My goodness, if it isn't the nicest thing i ever seen. <laughs> what is it, Jenny? With one of them fancy can openers like Eli knew I wanted. Yeah, I went way over to Shelby Junction to get it for you, Ma. <laughs> That's where it was last Saturday when I told you I was out pitching horseshoes. <laughs> Thank you, darling, for all your trouble. I like it awful well. Yeah. That reminds me of a bracelet Dad gave my mom once. Came from Tiffany's. About this wide, all diamonds and platinum. Boy, that sounds real nice, son. <laughs> you know, it's a shame they didn't stay together so that he could have seen her wear it. You tell him, Ben. Uh, say, uh, don't you think we better uh, practice your solo, Marion? You gotta have something ready for the church supper on Tuesday. All right. Tell me what to sing. Uh, uh, should we try this one here? Oh, that'll be good. Come on, Marion. You can sing off in this music. The little kid. time, Mary. Yeah, Nancy. It's one of the sweetest voices I ever heard, I do know. Sure is. Uh, say, Mr. Hunter. Uh, just call me Mickey, all the girls do. <laughs> all right, Mickey. Uh, I just started to ask you, how long you plan to stay down our way? Oh, no longer than I can help, uh, if you don't mind my putting it that way. 
This life is all right for you people because you don't know anything else. How old are you, son? <laughs> Too old to be called son, Mrs. Jenkins. I'm past 21. I see. Quite a middle-aged man. Mickey came to town on business and is staying with me over at the gas station. <laughs> I remember when I pulled in for gas and asked Cliff where to find the nearest hotel. I told you, 49 miles. I guess that's the nearest, isn't it, Ben? Yep, the Butler Hotel's about that fur. My father got the deed to some land around here, so he gave it to me. He's always giving me valuable things. Well, I might glad to hear that you consider land of some value. I, I was beginning to think that everything around here was worthless. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I've been talking too much. Oh, not at all. We like to hear everybody's opinion. Uh, Jenny, ain't you going to give Eli his present now? Sure. What's this? Did you think I'd forgotten to get anything for you, Eli? You had kind of a mournful look. <laughs> where, where is it, Ma? Right here behind these books. There you are. By golly, I didn't expect this. Not much. <laughs> Doggone, you always make such a neat-looking package. Well, Mrs. Jenkins is such a neat person. Her home always looks spick and span. Do you manage without a maid, Mrs. Jenkins? Yes, Mickey. I've managed without a lot more than a maid. Oh, oh Ma, if this ain't the cat. What in blazes <laughs> is that? It's a, it's a baton. Eli saw a mu movie once where there was a man leading music with one of them there sticks, and he ain't never got it out of his head. <laughs> to think you remember. Gosh, I've been wanting one so long, and I was always afraid the folks would laugh at me. Do you, you, you think it looks crazy? I think it looks real professional. Oh, do, do you, Cliff? Well, just like the big conductors use. Sure. Now we'll think of you along with Toscanini and Stokowski. Uh, you mean this makes Eli look like a foreigner? Uh, no, Mr. Potts. She means he looks like some of the foremost symphony conductors. There are many more of them. Ormondi, uh, Barbaroli, Montu, Metropolis. Say, Mickey, there just isn't much you don't know, is there? Oh, I've gotten around a little. Yes, I guess we've missed a lot by not getting around more. I'm beginning to wonder. Uh, where, uh, where, where'd you grow up, Mickey? Oh, uh, we lived in several big cities. Always in nice apartment in the heart of things. And you never had no yard to play in? No, I never cared much about being outdoors. Uh, do most of your friends live like you do? Patience, that don't sound very polite. Well, he ain't been very polite. Say, uh, have you have you seen around our countryside much? Uh, Just my land, over toward Shelby Junction. I have the old Crothers place. Oh, you don't say. Say, that's a mighty fine farm. It looked pretty ramshackle to me. Oh, well, maybe it could stand a coat of paint. If uh, you'll excuse me a minute, I think I'll go out on your balcony and have a little smoke. Well, you're welcome to smoke in here if you like. Thanks, but I'd like the air anyway. Well, so you call him a friend, Cliff? Oh, I don't know him well. He's only been at my place for three days now. He's a good kid at heart. I don't think he's got a heart. Well, when I was teaching school in the city, I saw several of my girls and boys growing into just what Mickey is now. Yes, and the saddest part of it all is that he's got the makings of a good boy. But those makings were influenced by a divorce and a broken home and living in apartments and too much running around. And now that he's come on down our way and sees honest-to-goodness living... He don't know enough to appreciate it. But he might learn, Ben. He sure ain't a happy boy. Oh, here he comes back in. Let's not let him know we've been discussing him. Uh, Cliff, uh, you come over here at the organ and do some singing. Okay. What'll it be? Oh, Little Green Winding Lane, if you please, Mrs. Jenkins. Oh, uh, come on in, Mickey. I was just going to practice my solo. I'd like to hear you, Cliff. Uh, all right, Cliff. Uh, I'll lead you with my new baton. Golly, Ma, I sure do like it. Uh, here we go. One, two. There's a little green lane goes winding Through the valley of all my dreams It's the lane that we walk together Ah, uh, how long ago it seems But the memories of those twilights Have been with me since then always and I wonder if you remember those dear old golden days when you and I went swinging down a little green winding lane where the birds kept singing just a little old love refrain To my longing heart come thronging hopes 
at once again. I hear those old love echoes in that little green winding. little green lane goes winding I shall see you again someday I shall wake from my dreams to find you coming down the sunlit way and I'll hold you once more but this time I shall never more let you go and we live again forever those days we used to know down where the birds kept singing just a little old love refrain really got a voice. I know a couple of places where I could get you in with just a word. What kind of places? Oh, places where there's entertainment, nightclubs. Cliff singing in Thanks, a... Mickey, but I don't think I'm quite suited to that. Okay, but you're passing up a great opportunity to clear out of all this. You know, uh, Cliff, uh, maybe Mickey's right. What? Now you're talking, Mr. Jones. Uh, why don't you tell Cliff some of the things he could have by going into that work? Well, uh, first of all, you make good money. And don't let anybody ever try to tell you that money isn't important. Yeah, I guess you mean that uh, what you buy with money is important. That's right. And what do you think he should buy with all this money? Oh, a, a big swell convertible like mine that goes 90 on the highway. Uh, and after he got it, uh, where would he hurry to? Huh? Oh, just anywhere. Yeah, now you might have something there, Mickey. I never try to hurry in no place. Uh, usually I know where I'm going, even if it's just wandering along by the river bank and watching the stream. And, Cliff, the hours you keep are great. Why, you work until 3 or 4 in the morning and then go home to your downtown apartment and sleep until noon, or maybe 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, that would really be different. Uh, folks down our way sort of like to see the sun, so... We get up while it's still around. Oh, it's a terrific life. Yeah, I'm sure of it, Mickey, but there's just one little thing that occurs to me. Uh, what if Cliff gets married and has a wife and some kiddies to think about? Don't you feel he should be kind of out in the open where there'd be a yard and some fresh air for the kids? I never had a yard. Kids don't miss it. Don't they? Uh, Mickey, you mentioned all the things that a different kind of life could give Cliff. There's just one thing you haven't mentioned... And that's happiness. Sure he'd be happy. Uh, are you? Huh? Say, what is this, anyway? You keep trying to pin me down to something. Is there anything wrong if I don't live like you do? No, 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 not a thing, as long as it's a good life and brings you happiness. Let's say I tend to my life and you tend to yours, huh, Pop? Uh -huh. Mickey. Now, I think we've talked on one subject long enough. Eli, don't you think it'd be a mighty good idea if we finished our practicing? There's something else I'd like to finish. Yeah, we better get on with it, Jenny. Uh, you got your books, everybody. Uh, let's turn to page 75 now and do two verses. All right, everybody, all together now.
Thank you, Patience. Uh, did uh, you enjoy it, Mickey? Yes, I did. I really did, and I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you a moment ago. Uh, oh, you don't say nothing to be sorry for. I, I'm just a nosy old man who goes poking into things. I keep wondering one thing, though, if you wouldn't mind telling me. What is it, Mickey? I'm wondering if you folks really do like this kind of a life. <laughs> well, we'll let each one speak for himself. Ben, what do you say? Well, I've been sitting here thinking what Mickey said about our town being dead. So funny, but it always seemed just peaceful to me. Gives a, a man a nice, quiet, content feeling, like stretching out under a tree in the warm summer sun. <laughs> yeah, how about you, Patience? Uh, would you trade this for city life? No, sir, not me. Folks is all too busy in the city. They don't take time to be as warm and... Friendly as I like. Marion, you kind of knew down our way. Uh, we'd like to hear how you take to our town. Well, I, I guess the nicest thing I could possibly say is that it seems like I've always lived here. Marion just about sums up my feelings, too. <laughs> so you see, Mickey, that uh, even if we do seem kind of old-fashioned, we're happy with it all, and that's what really counts. Yes, I I guess it is. No, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that everybody should like this, but... By golly, they ought to open their eyes enough to make sure it ain't better than uh, what they got. You mean I've been blind? Well, uh... All right. That's a good suggestion, Mr. D Mr. Jenkins. I'm sure it won't hurt to give it a try. I'll plan on staying on, for a while at least. Well, we'll be glad to have you as a neighbor, Mickey. Yeah, and after you've really learned what living down our way is like, you might realize that you've been missing an awful lot. And that, I guess, is just about the biggest tragedy on this old earth. Folks going along year after year in the same old way, not ever having a taste of real happiness. That's right, like we've had 33 years of it. Happy anniversary, darling. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you, Jenny, dear. <laughs> down our way is over for another evening. But we hope you enjoyed it so much that you'll be back next time we gather. We all have some mighty good times in the parlor of Eli Jenkins, so drop in again, won't you? Down Our Way is written by Shirley Thomas and produced by Walter White, Jr. This is a Commodore production.